like a very small juice glass or uh, a juice glass or a, a or, or a bottle here watch okay there's the fifth fret Um, this is tuned to D. That that the first that string and this string is tuned to D. Um, but if you look on YouTube uh, and study open tunings, it's not going to be very difficult at all to hack your little guitar into an open tuning and start to fool around with the basics on uh, on simple slide guitar. See, so like. Um, all our life I've been a traveling man All my life I've been a traveling man Staying alone and doing the best I can Um da 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 ba 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 da da nothing to it. It is not that complicated. All it takes is a little bit of right. finesse and like, you know, just like training on getting r right over top of the frets. So if you, this is called barring. All I'm doing is I'm using a finger as a bar across the fifth fret and across the seventh fret to get these two chords. And that's basically a three chord song. You know, most songs in the world are three chords. So it doesn't really matter where your guitar is tuned to. Now you know that you've got an open chord, you've got this chord, and you've got that chord, which makes like, you know, a whole a whole song, basically. Like, uh, okay, um, come on. Um, Sometimes in our lives we all have pain, we all have sorrow, but if we are wise, we will know there's always tomorrow. Just call on your brother when you need a hand, we all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you understand. We all need somebody to lean on. Lean on me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. For it won't be long. I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. You know that is not complicated. You make it look really easy. Well, I mean, and I mean, if you've got a little bit of rhythm in you and a little bit of pitch, it is not going to be difficult. I mean, I'm telling you, the learning curve on me figuring out how to get all my fingers to switch back from C to D, from C to G, and all that kind of stuff, that took a really long time. And if my guitar teacher had taught me how to also do open tuning, I would have been having a lot more satisfying fun with guitar. With guitar. Because it would be making would have been making nice noises like right away. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's kind of like a you know, it's more fun to learn things when you've got a lot of satisfaction, you know, in your learning curve. And so, I mean, nowadays, I just like, I mean, my favorite thing to do, like, Mister, Mister, can I play your guitar, please, please? I'm like, sure. Set it up to an open tuning. I give them a, a pick. They start strumming, and we just start making up a song. We're like, see, and their mommy's like, wow, that's really good. Like, yeah, your kid's got a rhythm. All he's got to do is strum, 
you know, I've set, set the strings up right so he's got one little chord, yeah. you know. <laughs> and so, I mean, if you don't push yourself too hard and if you don't stress yourself out too much, you can actually have some real enjoyment with a guitar almost right away by using an open tuning. So if you're a you're, you're smile, smile at her pupil here, say wave, wave to the camera. Okay, I'm going to send you a copy of this video. BFP, this is called <laughs> The Late Night Midnight Kissimmee Waffle House Guitar Class, Mark <laughs> Aronstein style. Woohoo! I had this one friend of mine who like really wanted to play guitar. I found him a little guitar just like mine in a thrift shop. And I tuned it up to open tuning, and I did exactly what I just did for you. Same thing. 